Right, we're going to look at doing the isometric drawing of this third angle orthographic projection over here. Right, to start with, you can see that they've given you a point A down over here, and there is point A. So I'm going to start out by drawing basically just the base. You can see it's a perfectly square base over there, and I'm going to take a line going out 30 degrees there, a line going out at 30 degrees there, and a line just going up a little bit over here, and I can then mark out the length, breadth, and height of this thing. It says that it's 60 millimeters in length for the sides of the square, so I measure off 60 millimeters over there. I can mark off the other side quite easily by just taking a line going horizontal across over there, and you can see that I've got the other corner of my square over there. I can take a line coming up from there, and a line coming up from there, and then I can measure off the height. It says that it's 16 millimeters. So I measure off 16 millimeters quickly, pop it in onto the drawing over here, and I can then draw in a line going out there and a line going out there. Right, I'm not going to draw these lines going back um, in dark, going back from there and back from there. The reason being is that I've got the um, the triangle, this triangular prism to draw in. Right, I'm going to just darken in the part that I can see, and in that way, if I did run out of time in an exam, at least I'd get the marks for that little portion that I know is in my drawing. I've got the lines in place, they've drawn in dark, and nobody can complain about that. Right, there we go. That's the part that I can definitely see in the drawing. Right, the next step is to try and figure out where this triangular prism is going to fit in over here. To do that, I need to draw a auxiliary view. Um, so I'm going to find out what the length of that side is. It says it's 44 millimeters. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to draw a little auxiliary view. Let's draw a little construction line there. I'm going to measure off 44 millimeters on that. 44 millimeters. Mark that on, on my construction line over there and over there. Right, once I've got that in place, I can then draw in a construction line coming down over here and a construction line going down over there. There is my view of the triangle that I need. And after I've done that, well, I'm going to then draw a line coming out like that and a line going back like that, a line going back like that. That's one way of doing it. Or I could just find the center of this thing, which might actually be more useful to us. So I'm going to find the center, the 30 degree line that I just drew, 90 degree line going over there, and a 30 degree line going over there. Right, there's my center. Let's call that O. Okay, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find O on the base over here. So. Um, it says over here that I go 30 millimeters back, okay, so I can take my pair of dividers and I can measure off 30, or I can use a nice simple technique to find the middle of this line over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line coming out like that, I'm going to draw a line dropping down like that, and if I draw a line going back at 30 degrees, I found the middle of that line, which means that I've got 30 millimeters going that way and 30 millimeters going that way, which means that I can draw a line coming across over there. Right, um, you can see that the center is going to be um, in the middle of this thing. So same story over here. I'm going to come along here, draw a line coming up like that, drop a line going down like that from those corners and draw a line going back at 30 degrees over here meaning that I found the center O that I was talking about earlier. Right, what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to take a line going straight up. Okay, and I can see on my drawing over here that it goes up 50 millimeters. So I measure off 50 millimeters and I mark off 50 millimeters. So I've now got point O right up at the top, which is going to be quite useful for me. Okay, so what I need to know now is, well, how far back from there to there? Because that is 
Remember, there is O over there. How far back? Well, I can get that on my auxiliary view over here. Let's just draw that little piece of line in. You see that little green line that I drew there? I'm going to draw that in onto my isometric drawing. I'm going to take a line going back and I'm going to measure off this distance over here and I'm going to pop that in onto my drawing. Right, there is that point, that distance away from O. I can then take a line going out like that and I know that that distance over there, I can mark that off on this line over there and over there. Note that line is going at 30 degrees, which means that it is an isometric line, which means that it holds true that that line will be the same length as a on the 2D and the 3D drawing. Right. I now need to find that point over there. Okay, you can see that it's coming out. And I can then just extend this out over here. Note that little piece of line over there coming from O. I can measure that off from there to there, from the O coming out. You'll note that that distance doesn't change whether it's a two-dimensional or three-dimensional drawing. There it is. And now I can draw in a line coming across like that to that point and a line coming across like that to that point, which means that I found that triangle at the top. All I need to do now is to drop some lines coming down from the corners, from there, from there, and if I wanted to, I could drop one down from the back, but it's unnecessary. And what I need to do now is to measure off that 50 millimeter distance. There's the 50 millimeter in the center. It's not going to change on the corners because it's a prism. So I can mark that off and I can mark that off over there, which means that I can draw in my triangle on the base over here and I can drop a line down there and drop a line down over there. And I can finish off my drawing by just counting the corners. One, two lines going into that corner, meaning I need that third line. And one, two lines going into that corner, meaning that I can get that line as well. And there's your drawing done.